Hello everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a um, little ranting video at Microsoft. Um, you know, talking about how already Microsoft is always making it a little difficult with the different, you know, Windows versions available. And um, here we're looking at one particular example. So already, you know, Windows 10 has many different versions. Pro, Home, Enterprise, the uh, end version, which is a single language version and, and, and all of that. And, you know, it is, um, it is a little problematic, personally. I think there are too many versions of, um, you know, Windows as it is. I always thought Windows should be, you know, um, one version for everything. Uh, you know, we should all be like at the pro version or something and, and, and have all of these features and everybody be in the same version would be kind of simpler. Not just if we talk about, you know, the, sh the, the sheer, um, the side of like listening and just understanding what we are buying because, you know, it, there's a lot of mix up for the user side, you know. Um, I, I often hear, oh, the pro version is always better than home and it's more stable. It ain't more stable, it's the same thing. It's just that they add new features in it. That's it. So each different version has features that others don't. Uh, and I think, you know, there's there's too many versions. It's always been like that. And you know what, with, with as far back as we can go to the different Windows version, you're like, what the hell? Why are you making it so complex? But now we're learning today that three new versions will be added to the already complex Windows 10 side of Windows. Of course, we know that Windows 10 S is coming up, which is a special Windows for devices which will force you to download from the Microsoft Store and use Microsoft Edge and you know all of that. And it's kind of a little complex when you think about it. Well, now with the Fall Creators update, and this was seen, by the way, in that leak of 16.212, you know, that failed and problematic thing that should not have appeared for anyone last Thursday. Um, really a um, major um, Windows Insider fiasco, basically. But it actually gave insight for different little things. And within that 16.212, there was leak last Thursday. What's interesting to see is that we learned that there are three new uh, versions of Windows 10. So there's a Windows 10 Pro for advanced PCs. That's the first one that they call Windows 10 Pro for advanced PCs, um, which is previously believed to be called Windows 10 Pro for workstations. And um, it will be optimized for multi-core PCs and aimed at enterprise users probably. Uh, Windows 10 Pro N for advanced PCs as with the case with what N means is usually um, it's a version commercialized in European Union countries where um, you know you have to remove and kind of show what um, a, a screen of browser and stuff you know which is very very uh, European like and finally Windows Server 2016 uh, server RDSH, which means Remote Desktop Session Host, which is a Windows Server 2016, but aimed most at hosting Windows-based programs or full Windows desktop for remote desktop service clients. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, why the hell is, is, is that all so complex? So, um, and, and, you know, what we see is on 16.213, which is a Fall Creators Update thing, that means these new versions will come out later this year. You know, if I have one thing to say to Microsoft is please simplify your Windows deployment. It's way too complex. Have one, or if you really wish to separate, uh, you know, business and home, well, two different versions. That's it. Nothing more. I mean, it, it already is complex like that. It's getting really too complex. And, you know, at some point, somebody somewhere doesn't know what to choose anymore. But, you know, this is a very weird way that Microsoft thinks, and, and I don't know why they complexify it like this so, so much. So that's kind of my ranting here a little bit, and talking about what's coming up. So apparently these need through three new versions will be available. Um, and we guess at the Fall Creators Update, since they appear in 16.212, which is basically the Fall uh, Creators Update, 
Insider Preview. Um, kind of interesting when you think about it. If you enjoy my videos, what do you think of too many Windows versions, by the way? Uh, I, I really think Microsoft is going crazy with this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.